Hello folks, it's Jeffrey GD29 here about to do my 70th gameplay of Pokemon Trading Card Game for the PC. I'm going to feature yet another new deck featuring some new cards from the latest new uh, loose set Lost Thunder. It's my Macargo GX deck, so I'm going to show you how the deck works here, and then we got a game with it. Hopefully we got a win with it. So the point of the Macargo GX decks right here is to use Macargo's Crossing Charge ability. To, it has a ability called Crossing Charge, it's a stage 1, 210 HP GX Pokemon. It has a ability called Crossing Charge. What's doing until you, before you attack, you make this card the top card of your deck. If it's a basic Pokemon energy card, attach it to one of your Pokemon. So if we got a fire energy, we got an extra attachment. And then for an attack, two fire energies and a card of his lava fall. Discard any other amount of basic energy from this Pokemon. This attack does 50 more damage for each card discard this way. So if you attach, if you get rid of one energy, it's 100 damage. Two energies, 150. Three energies, 200. So choice by hitting 80, 130, and 180. So you can pretty much, pretty much, and 230 as well. So you can pretty much one shot most GXs and EXs. And it's just called Body Magma GX, it's just got the top five cards of your opponent's deck. It's pretty much late game, let's say they have like five cards left, you discard the cards, they pretty much, we pretty much win the game automatically. And we're going to pair it with this Macargo right here from Celestial Storm, with the smooth all abilities, 90 HP stage 1 Pokemon. Once during your turn before you attack, you may search your deck from a card, shuffle your deck, and put that card on top of it. So we pretty much put a top fire energy on top, and we can guarantee ourselves a card in will be hitting every time. So here's the, uh, the rest of the deck. So we play one Ditto Prism Star, which is the new card for Lost Thunder. One of those Prism Stars. That's a ability called Almighty Evolution. Once during your turn before you attack, you may put any stage one from your hand onto this Pokemon to evolve it. You can't use this ability during your first turn or the turn this Pokemon was put into play. So you can, we can evolve this to a Macargo GX or a smooth old Macargo and have another extra Macargo so we can get going with the other energies here. Then we play one Omega for instruct ability, draw three have three cards, and he's also a good, pretty decent attacker as well. We call this any psychic 60 plus 20 for each attack energy attached to it. So we get extra draws out. Then we play four Slugma. With this, with the, with the, they have a new Slugma with 80 HP, but this one I think is better because it has the Magma Ring attack for 7 HP and basic. For close energy, but only 10 damage, you can't retreat. So we have to, yeah, have to Guzma or use a switch to get it out, which is a resource. And then for one fire, one energy, or energy flare, does 20 damage. Doesn't really matter for that one. Then we, both, we play a 4 3 2 line of Macargo, JX, and Macargo. Then we play one Retina Prism Star, 90 HP basic. Uh, for two fire energy, Infinity does 20 damage, she's two times the number of HP basic energy cards we find. So if we waste some Macargo's energy, cross the we get those energies back with Victini. Then we play two type of to round the deck out. Uh, supporters, uh, training supporters, one energy recycle system. We can put a part of basic card into the hand, or we can shuffle three energy. So we're mainly using it for the second ability, second ability, so we can um, uh, get those energies back with waste from Macargo GX. As well, uh, as with uh, with this which is level 4 attack. Then we play one energy recycler. We show about 5 basic energy costs from the discard deck, so it's another energy uh, recovery. In this case, we get rid of those energies very fast. Two free ball to get rid of that shrine and punish field, any other tools that might bother us. Four, uh, two nest ball to get a basic Pokemon, so we get our small ones out a lot more quicker. So if we basically want to put it to your bench or something like that. Then we play one rescue sweaters to get our. Uh, Macargo's back or any slug, anything pieces we need just in case they get knocked out or discarded somehow. Four switch to get uh, return a Pokemon with high return because Macargo, both Macargo's have a high retreat cost, so does a regular with two and three each. So we can get switch just in case we get stuck. Two time ball to get our uh, evolutions out. Hopefully, get uh, two at least one hand so we get our evolutions out or two. At least two, two will be very nice too. So we have to be very lucky. Four to start our Pokemon, just go by the two cards. So, a lot of supporters for Cynthia. Best draw support in the game, show by hand, draw to have six, draw to six. Two Guzma to get our to switch our Pokemon to stall in order to get those key knockouts. Two judge to start uh limit our opponent's resources with Knights of Long Beacon, Long Bobby's Beacon, or Along with Jazz with Metagross. If they have a big hand as well. One Lily to draw to have six or draw to have eight, good first turn as well. Then play one Mallow. So you guys have two cards over there, and then put those cards on top of the deck in any order. So we can use this card to search for two fire energies and put them on the top so you have multiple Macargo GXs using their magma charge abilities. Then we play one Pokemon Fan Club to get to search for two, two basic Pokemon put on the bench so we get our Slumbers out faster as well. Then we play one Kakura to hit those numbers and 20 more damage. Then two Retain Eliza to either switch or uh, high retreat cost Pokemon and shuffle the draw fire. Then we play three Choice Bands to add those numbers for those ES and GXs, 30 plus. And then we round the deck with 12 fire energy. So there's the deck guys, hope you enjoyed the description. Let's see if we get a win this deck by going into the ladder. Here we go. So we'll be taking it on today. 
Kit at Itame with playing a grass, fire, and psychic deck. So what are called tails here. And we do win the cornflake, which is good. So gra it's very good because grass fire is weak to grass, so fire strong against grass, so we can hopefully get some key knockoffs. Oh, this is a great hand actually. So we start with double slugma. And remaining Rangaroo, we could tell Ultra Ball for a Lele and get um, a Lily, so we can draw a lot of cards. So we're much faster. We're playing against. Oh, we're playing against Lost Much. Okay. I don't think Lost Much can knock out. We're gonna get on the first turn knockout here, but we can try. I think I'm gonna touch the active anyway. Okay, so we're drawing. Let's get our extra card, which is a Flame Fire Engine, which is fine. We draw another Ultra Ball. So I'm going to attach energy to the active, which starts the which you definitely don't want to start in this matchup. I'll attach the choice band. I'll play the Ultra Ball, the Scarlet Time Ball, and Ultra Ball to grab the Tabo Lele. So we got we can go to all my cargos and Sluggles and effects, which is great. So I'm going to search for Tabo Lele and get Lily out. Hopefully Lily's in night. Now we can grab Cindy. Cindy is also fine. We got Lily. I'm also going to make a Struck for one card. See what I get off of the course. Okay, so we got a tiny lancer, but we're definitely gonna play a little bit first time. Draw two, we draw for six. Okay, so pretty much that happened. This we're gonna pass. Next time, we'll hopefully get a Macargo GX is out. Hope we get a Macargo and a small little Macargo as well. So that's a double colorist. Charge the choice band. Uh, it's probably gonna hit us for sixty. I think that seems to be the play here. Oh, he just scoops. That game was too quick. So definitely gonna play another one here. Guess he have a he pretty much had a dead hand at this point. Let's play again. I like the game, so we're, we're gonna play another. I was too quick. I didn't show the deck's, deck's power that way. Okay, so we're playing against Fiora Stroke, playing a Fire Dark Psychic and Colorist deck. So we then we want a coin flip there, we'll be going first, of course. So what we got, okay. Oh, this is a dead hand, pretty much. I'm gonna start with Victini Prism Star here, actually. Don't have a support, we have a bunch of energy we can't really use. But we got an Ultra Ball Scoop, we can Ultra Ball for later, get a Lily out. So we're gonna also drop the P Diddle Prism Star. Let's see what our opponent has. So we'll draw anything out there, we'll attach to the bench, McCargo. Jax. Attach to the bench, you know, and then, so we see a DNC person. Okay, that's a Slugma, that's good. So I'm just Slugma, and then I'm going to attach to the active, uh, to attach to the bench, Slugma, and I'm going to pass. Which I can't, because I can't really do nothing else in here. I think we're playing some Buzzwall Bang here. Probably Buzzwall Zork, like and Rock. Which I can see. See our opponent, what our opponent starts with. Then I'd rather recover the Ditto because the Ditto could be a good bad target. So we're gonna see a Nest Ball being played. What's he gonna grab with a Nest Ball pie? Uh, uh, Sneasel, okay. So Sneasel has a Sneasel. Oh, we gotta be careful Sneasel because Sneasel can hurt us too because we do play a lot of, death, a lot of Pokemon abilities. The Weavile with the, uh, uh, it's called uh, Evil Admission. It does 50 times for each Pokemon, one Pokemon player has an ability on it. So he plays Lily for three, drops a Buzzwall, baby Buzzwall. Because the Acrobat picks the two top two cards, it picks one and it discards the other. So, oh, he got the Ghost Shrine, I wonder why. So, this is probably Buzzwall Weavile Shrine, I guess. This is not. I thought I was liking one. This is a Nest Ball here for a Slugma. Okay, this is Buzzwall Weavile uh, Shrine with Cargo. Tell the choice man to the buzz wall. Oh, and passes. Now it's my turn. Oh, I got a Cynthia. That's very good. That's a good top deck right there. So I'm going to evolve to my Cargo GX. I'm going to play kind of fire into it. And I'm going to play the Cynthia. Let's see what we got off the Cynthia. I definitely want smooth over here, so I'm going to grab that instead. I'm going to discard the fire energy and the switch to grab smooth over my cargo. It's there. So I, get a, I can get a knockout on this Deancey right here. And I have support for next turn. So I'll switch into my Carlo Jax. 
Going to smooth over, getting the fire engine to the top of the deck. We'll activate the question charge ability. Definitely getting a fire engine, of course, because we know what we're getting. And now I'm going to use level 4. I have to score 2 energy to knock this to the anti prism start out. So that is a knockout. Let's see what price we get. We get a fuel blow. Okay, fuel blow can be useful. So he promotes Buzz Wall. Let's see what's, let's see, what's he gonna do? Tad is the counter energy to the Buzz Wall, which is interesting. He's gonna live for two cards. Tad is another, another Buzz Wall. Tad is another choice band to it. Oh, and Marshall with a less losing ability. So we both have our hands and draw to have four cards in hand. So I got a five. Pretty much the same hand. I do have the attachment system. So he's going to start down for 60 damage, which is fine. Okay, so I'm throwing down the fire engines. I'm going to attach a fire. I'm going to play a Tanner Liza actually first. Okay, we've got a couple more slugs for next time. I got Ultra Ball for another Lele. I'm going to smooth over with another fire engine to the top. Okay, so we're going to use constant charge ability. Get the fire engine on top, attach it to my cargo. We're going to allow a flow again. We have to score two engines again, because it's one, it's, we're 150 damage. Bad is the buzz will can one shot us. So we got the surprise, we got a nest ball. Okay, nest ball is good, I can get another slug with that. Bad has the, fi the grass, uh, the fire engine. Yep, he has a beat, he has a, a uh, rainbow energy. He has a choice man to the move out, so and he's going to Cynthia. Which is fine, I, I will have to try to get another Macargo ready by this turn. He gets a revile, revile is very scary, we have to watch the revile and Macargo out. So I have to hit both. If I got multiple Macargo jets, I have to hit, I have to hit double crushing charge. So slash down for a knockout, it's 150. So I'm going to pull the smuggle over here. Okay, we're going to play. Oh, that's another smooth eyeball. So that, that bench that one. Bench that one. I'm going to mess ball for another slugma. I can't tell. I don't know my slugmas. I'm going to bench the next ball for an Omega Rune instead. Actually, no, I actually don't need the Omega I'm going to next ball. So I, it feels really wild damage too. I'm going to Ultra Ball, discarding the Fire Engine. The Switch will grab another Macargo GX. Oh, no, I got to grab Tabula later, not Macargo. So I grab another more cargo jacks. I don't have the social partner. So on top of that, I'm going to I think I'm going to grab Lily. I'd love to get another Mikolo GX into play here actually. I definitely can next that Ultra Ball. So I'm gonna Ultra Ball discarding the the former fan club and the judge. To grab another more cargo jacks. Before bad news, I didn't get an energy attachment, which sucks. But I can smooth over, I can always smooth over one energy to the top. I'm gonna end play the energy slide cycle as well. I have I have um 20 energy in the pile. I'm gonna play a free blow, give it that get rid of those two choice bands. I already played two or uh, one or three already, so now I'm gonna smooth over for energy. A burning magma jazz doesn't seem like a bad play either. Of course, I'm just going to the end of the top. And I'm going to use burning magma GX. Okay, oh, okay. go with those. That's good. Go with those. Always good to get. So, Buffalo is going to hit us for a big amount of damage here. I just hope that Weaver doesn't knock us out. Well, he has to, he has to uh, retreat in their manly, manly attacks for a turn. So Ultra Ball is going to Trubbish and the Buzz Wall. So we have another Sneezo. You see that, oh, here comes the Shrine. Turn to the Rainbow Engine to the Weavile. It's going to smooth over here. I wonder what quality, what quality put on the top of his deck. You see Guzma. Oh, so the Lele is knocked out. That's gonna be knocked out for sure. He's doing 200 damage for Iron Island Edition. But good news, I can knock out the Weavile this turn. 
I only have the Scarlet Engine. This, but this one's gonna kick in. So we drew a, a Professor Crow. We're definitely gonna Cynthia first. I need to draw a Fire Energy, which I did, which is great. So I'm gonna rescue Stretcher. I can rescue Stretcher, rescue stretcher those three guys. I'm gonna rescue Stretcher Slug with the Cargo Energy Jacks and the Top of Energy Jacks. I just had a choice, Ben. Even though they're useless, I don't want to draw them to them, so. Definitely gonna smooth over. For uh, fire energy. And then we're going to use question charge. And then we're going to knock it out without a full discarding. No, uh, one energy because we have to discard one. We're doing 100 damage. Okay, so we take a prize. Let's see what our prize is. It's another slumber, which is good. I have to get multiple slugma in play, of course. Okay, so Steelzer comes down. I just gotta pray he doesn't have another Weavile. Oh, there's another Weavile. There's another Sneasel. Smooth over. Does he have enough energy to track this turn? That's the thing. Oh, he's gonna wait for that energy, of course. So he's doing 170. We have to knock out. We have to get that shot once we lose this turn. So I'm going to Slugma. I'm going to attach the energy. I'm going to Cynthia. Okay, fortunately there's no fear blow and it can't be, uh, we pretty much lose. We can't get our hand down to three. Uh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna smooth over anyway. So I find, yeah, I can't. Was the fear blow on the deck? It was. I needed, I needed that field blow last turn. But I would have lost the hand because that boss would have smacked me. Uh, we're crushing charge anyway. Well, I should have been trying to show the deck work, which is. But it's a bad, bad, bad match up against the GX decks. Uh, Lava Fall is guarding one. But what did that do? Do the slime. Take a prize. Fire energy. Yeah, so we lost that one, unfortunately. Yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned for more videos. Bye for now.